we are going to build a full stack authentication application where a user can register, log in, log out, and view his or her profile. And we are going to use main stack, and that is MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js. For this project, we are not going to write any single line of code. We are going to use Cursor AI to build this. And the first step is that I have a folder called main of. We are going to design the API first before we integrate React into it. So I'm going to open the chat by pressing Command L or Control L. We are going to ask the AI how to create Express application. First step is that we will need this command. So I'm going to open the terminal and then I'm going to have a folder called backend. For this one, we can use the composer, but let's do it manually. So let me open this one instead and then open the terminal. So here I'm going to paste that and then hit enter. All right. I have my package dot chasing file. So next step is that we are going to use the composer. I'm going to open the composer by pressing shift command I or shift control I. So in here, we are going to provide what we want to do. And it goes like this. We are going to build authentication API project using Express and Mongoose where a user can register, log in, log out and view profile. And here we will ask that it should use JWT for the authentication and MVC design pattern. So with this one, let's hit enter. And here we go. We have a complete API for authentication. Last step is that we have to test to make sure that indeed it is working. So let's look at the package.json file. In here, it is using Nodemon and some other packages. So to install the other packages, we are going to make use of npmi and this one will install all the packages in the package.json file. And even for Nodemon, we can use what is called the watch flag. But let's take to this one. So I'm going to run by using npm run dev. And we have a functional application. And that is it has been connected to MongoDB. So let's look at the structure here. In the controllers, we have the register, login, logout, and then the profile. And then in the mirrors here, we have the JSON web token and then models. We have it. And then the environment variable in here, it is using local MongoDB URL. For me, I have MongoDB installed locally. But in case you haven't installed MongoDB locally, then you can go to MongoDB.com, sign in and create your MongoDB connection string. And let me change the key here to something like this. And to test the API, we can use Postman. But we also have an extension called Tender Client. So I'm going to install that by clicking on the extensions and then search for Tender Client. Install. All right. And when I click here, I have the Tender Client, which is this. So assuming that we don't know the endpoint for this project, I'm going to ask the AI to give me all the endpoint. So I'm going to have a new composer, which is this. And I will say that list all the endpoint for this project. And it has given me this endpoint and that is API forward slash off and then the forward slash register. So I'm going to copy this. And then back to the tender client, I'm going to have new request. 
So here is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash local host. And then let me look at the port in the server. The port is 3000. And then forward slash the endpoint, it is post method and hit enter. We have, it couldn't resolve the IP address. It is called local host, this one. And it says that username is required and then password is also required. So I'm going to provide it as that username must comma the password one, two, three, four, five, six or five send. We have an error email is also required. And then it's going to be as massing at gmail.com send and we have 201 it has been created and to be able to visualize our mongodb we are going to install an extension called mongodb all right this one okay so i'm going to open the mongodb here and then add the connection i'm going to have my connection string it is inside my environment variable which is this one so let me click here mongodb add connection and then connect and paste that and hit enter all right it has been connected let me look at my database which is this one users and this is a user who has just registered all right so let's go ahead and then test for the login in so i'm going to click on the tender client let me close these guys and i'm gonna copy this or even i can duplicate and then change this one to log in all right and then log in and we have the token this means that the user is logged in but if i provide wrong password as you can see we got invalid credentials perfect and i can log in next step is that i have to view my profile so i'm going to let me check the yeah we have the endpoint here as of for slash me and that is the profile endpoint so i'm going to open the tender client duplicate and then the endpoint here is forward slash me and then post here supposed to be get instead and then send well for some reasons we got html maybe the endpoint is not correct so let's check in the route which is this it is forward slash profile instead so let me remove this one and no token found let me get into the login and copy the token and back to the profile click on the headers and then provide authorization bearer and paste the token and send let me look at my profile and this is my profile the last one is the logout. So I'm going to copy and paste this one. And then the endpoint here is called logout. Let me check in the users here. No, the route, it is forward slash logout. So if I log out, think it is post method. Let me check one more time. Yeah, it is post method so if i hit send i got log out successful as you can see with one prompt and some small tweet we have a functional api for authentication we are going to create react application to consume the endpoint for the authentication application the backend logic is done so how are we going to instruct 
Cursor AI to be able to consume our backend APIs. So here, I'm going to close all these instances of the tabs and then collapse this. So to allow Cursor AI to know the project structure, we are going to have separate folder for front end and back end. And we have it in this folder and it is called man of. So I'm going to open that instead. This means I have the main folder as main of and then the backend folder is here. So we are going to create React application inside the main of here. Therefore, we can instruct the AI to interact with the backend. So let me close these guys likewise. This. And let's go ahead and instruct the AI to create the React application for us. So I'm going to open the tab, assuming that I have no idea how to create React application. I'm going to say that how to create React application using Vit. All right, it has given me this prompt. So I'm going to open the terminal. For this, I'm going to ignore the template. So I'm going to use this one instead. And the name of the project, I'm going to name it as, let me see the prompt well. All right, npm create vit at latest. The name of the project as front end. Select React JavaScript. And let me see the in and then install all the packages. All right, it is done. And let me run npm run dev. Let me open that. And this is our React application. It is time for our React application to consume the API. So we are going to use the composer feature. So I'm going to press shift command I in here. We are going to say that your task is to consume all the endpoint in our backend API. And we can reference the folder by using folder. And the name of the folder is called backend using the react application. We will say that create the following component. One is the home register login and then the profile and make the profile private and use react router DOM for navigation. We will say that note the React application has been created already, which is, and then I'm going to reference the folder as the front end, which is this. And we can say that focus only the main logics. All right. And let's see. All right, it is done. So click on the accept. And we have the folders and files as we are expecting. Let me close these guys and then let me rerun the application and let's see. And let me reload. For some reasons, we have this unless we install the package as React Router DOM. So let me shut down and we can even debug with AI. So if I click on the debug with AI, let's see. As you can see, we have to install Axios and then the, and then the React Router DOM. So let me install the Axios here. And also NPMI React Router DOM. Okay, let's see. 
perfect and here we go guys so if i click on the register i have the form and then the login i'm going to log in using the account that we created at massintechgmail.com and definitely we're going to see what is called connection refused so let's check our backend well i think the backend is not running so let me open that as npm run dev all right and let me try again and we have course error so we are going to copy this error back to the cursor ai we are going to use the composer let me open new composer and paste that and it knows where to fix the error let me hit enter and it says that i should add this one at the back end i'm going to copy this close it and back to the back end in the server i have it here already so i can even accept but let me do it manually and i will need the course package all right so i have to install that backend here clear it npmi course awesome and let me run again reload log in as massync then the password and there we go guys it is working and i can go ahead and log out perfect let me try the registration i'm gonna call this one as ima and ima at gmail.com and then the password success i can now log in perfect we have it so now let's focus on the css so we can say that let me open the home page now i'm done with the backend this is a home page i'm going to say that redesign this and make it catchy and real world all right using tailwind css this means that i have to install tailwind css into this project but let's see the template first all right while waiting let's install the tearing css by going to tearingcss.com and then documentation click on the frameworks guys read the second one shut down the front end and paste that the next step is to add this one to the tailwind.config file. This one, add that. And then in the index.css, this one, replace with that. And lastly, we can run the application. So let's see, it is done with the changes. So let's make sure that the home page is being focused which is this and then i can click on the apply accept and let's see all right my server is not running and that is the front end okay reload and for some reasons it is not being applied oh sorry here is the login supposed to be the home page perfect well the link is not working i can say that make it linkable and hit enter all right apply accept and now if i click on the register it worked so i can also ask the same design on the login as you can see here that it is focused i can say redesign the login also and make sure to have 
consistency in the design and i can even include the other files for example register and then the profile all right so i can remove this as that so redesign and make sure to have consistency and then hit enter it is going to redesign all the component for me this is a register so i have to make sure that it is focused all right it is done apply accept save it and register and there we go let's move on to the login not the profile instead make sure it is focused apply accept and let's see the next one i think it couldn't design the login we have registered here okay and let me select the login and i would say that also the login it knows what i'm referring to all right let me apply accept and then log in it worked and also the nav bar i can also say the nav bar and then let me pull up the nav bar and enter and then apply accept awesome so if i go to home page i have it as that log in register and home i'm going to log in with email at gmail.com then the password and this is my profile perfect so guys as you can see the power of kesa ai with some few prompts and some small tweet we have a functional full stack application and instead of spending hours and days for this we use less than 30 minutes or 20 minutes and we have a functional website